Silvio Barros, Mayor of Maringa in Brazil. Thank you very much, Silvio, for your willing to speak with us. I would like to start just to the point. What are the difficulties for waste to energy plants in Brazil? Is it something that the government will allow to be happened? Is it something that uh, the citizens accept? It? What's happening now? I would say that the problem here is uh, the lack of information, uh, ignorance about what is waste to energy. Uh, I'm sure the government will not prohibit uh, waste to energy uh, initiatives in the country because it makes no sense at all. But there is a lot of resistance, especially uh, by people that don't understand that it is possible to develop waste to energy and recycling. Actually, most of the countries that uh, have waste to energy plants are the ones that, more, that have more uh, recycling uh, quantities uh, in Europe. Uh, but they don't understand this. But they think waste to energy needs the recycled materials in order to generate power. Mm -hmm. uh, the other big problem we have is the fact that uh, because there is no previous uh, experiences in Brazil, uh, the society and the government are concerned about how to control and monitor the emissions. Uh, we don't have the technology in place. We don't have organizations in Brazil that can actually do this uh, in a way that uh, people would be would, would feel safe, okay. and uh, uh, we would would have to convince them that these technologies are available, and we can implement them, because we don't have incineration plants in Brazil, we don't have the technology. Okay. But uh, it, one thing cannot prevent the other to happen. Okay, from a mayor's point of view, uh, what are the benefits of waste to energy? Well, we have uh, uh, different types of waste that uh, cannot be recycled, that cannot be uh, managed uh, in any other way, cannot be composted. So we have to put them somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically the option we have is landfill. My understanding uh, as a sanitary engineer, which is my, uh, I'm graduated in, in civil engineering, uh, is the fact that the best thing to do is instead of, of just sending to the landfill those materials, we should at least recover the energy that it's within them and use them in a, in a proper way. So uh, we see the benefit that we will have nothing else to, to manage. Uh, we can solve the problem. And basically we can uh, save some money uh, by uh, having a more rationalized and optimized way uh, for our trucks to bring the, the, the waste to a certain place not too far away uh, instead of having to send them 20, 30 kilometers away uh, to landfill. I mean, it's a waste of fuel, it's, it's air pollution, it's a waste of money when, when we could do the opposite. We could actually make money out of this uh, process. Let me ask you something more. Some say that landfills are very cheap in Brazil, so waste to energy will not be affordable for the city. Could you give us an idea of the price? Well, basically, we are paying in our city today for landfill. Uh, and actually, unfortunately, without a good, good uh, recycling and, and selective uh, collection uh, in place, we are paying something between 43 and $45 dollars per ton. This is really gate expensive. Fee, gate fee. I, I think it's very expensive, but I know with a, just a little bit more, we could eliminate this uh, environmental problem for the future generation. Okay, if you want to give a suggestion to the Brazilian government, to the authorities, what would be your three main points related to waste water? Your suggestions? Uh, it would be to learn more about it, to understand it better, and to make sure that it becomes, under the Brazilian regulation, waste to energy becomes part of the whole process of managing waste, mm -hmm. not the option, but part of the option to manage and to eliminate that uh, uh, that portion of the waste that have nothing to be done except landfill. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.